When we first met Eric Wright, he was serving a 20 year prison sentence. In July 2013, his ex girlfriend barged into his mom's house uninvited. Wright told her to leave, but she was bigger and she was angry and unable to get her to leave. Wright pulled out his licensed handgun and he fired a warning shot into the ground. Now, nobody was hurt, but discharging a firearm put Wright in the crosshairs of Florida's 1020 life law. His mandatory sentence, 20 years. It was a sentence that really bothered everyone involved, but one that no one could change until now. On your side's Ann Schindler reports. It was a prime example of injustice of the Florida laws. When Eric Wright calls his sentence unjust, he's not speaking for himself. He's quoting appellate judge James Wolfe, who said sentences like his, quote, should not be tolerated. Eric Wright read that opinion sitting in his prison cell. So I have to ask, did you think I won? I did. And I think it struck the heart of many people. Attorney Rhonda Peoples Waters took Wright's case even after the appellate judges denied his appeal, saying their hands were tied. Really um, spoke loudly on the injustice that may come about when judges don't have discretion. Since Wright's legal options were exhausted, she approached the state attorney's office Conviction Integrity Review Unit. And of course, I knew that there were issues in the case, right? I mean, you know, that's. It was waiting for me when, I, when we started the unit. Unit director Shelley Thibodeau denied his claim because she only handles cases of actual innocence, but she did suggest a plan. Wright filed an ineffective assistance of counsel claim against his original lawyer, which prosecutors didn't challenge. Then, rather than retry the case, the state attorney offered a plea deal of time served. The prison just basically tells him to pack up his things and you're coming right on back to Duval. Suddenly, Wright was a free man. About 10, 11 o'clock that night, I was walking out of county jail, and I seen my kids. How was that? Scary. I haven't seen them in years. His life restored 17 years early, and not a minute too soon. What did they say to you? Can we go to Chuck E. Cheese? <laughs> Ann Schindler, First Coast News, on your side. Thanks, Ann. Now, the law has changed since Wright was convicted back in 2013, but because the law did not change until 2014, it did not apply retroactively to him or others like him. And we should note that before his sentence was vacated, the victim in this case wrote a letter on his behalf saying their son needed his father in his life, not in prison. We have a complete explanation of Florida's 10 to 20 life law online. You can read about it and get a better understanding in this story right now on firstcoastnews.com.